This tutorial is designed to show students how to use Microsoft Equation Editor in Microsoft Word to write equations for use in assignments. Firstly, we start in Microsoft Word and we select where we want the equation to be placed. We will then go to the Insert tab and the Object tab here. Once we've selected Object, a pop-up window will appear and from this we need to select Microsoft Equation 3.0. The version of Microsoft Equation and the position on the toolbar may vary depending on the version of Word on which you are working. We select OK and we're brought into a new window where we have a highlighted text box where we can enter our information and we have a number of equation tools which we can actually use. I'm going to write out the typical simple regression formula of y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1x plus our error term. Any letters I wish to enter, I can enter simply using the keyboard. So for example, Y, and I can use the equal sign to put in an equals. Alternatively, I can also select various different types of greater than, less than, or equal to signs from Equation Editor. So here we have less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and we have equivalent to. So there's a number of alternative options available. In this instance, I'm using equal to, and I select it from the keyboard. We now wish to insert the beta coefficient for the intercept term. For this, we'll designate it beta naught. So we go over to where the Greek numerals are stored here, so Greek characters, lowercase. We select this, and we can choose a number of different Greek characters. In this instance, I'm going to use beta, and I wish to designate that this is the intercept term, or the first of a number of betas, by in inputting the subscript 0. To input subscripts, we can use the subscript and superscript templates. When we click this, we again see there's a number of different options available. We can select a superscript, a subscript, or a box which will allow us to put both subscripts and superscripts for the same coefficient. In this instance, I just want a subscript. I select the subscript, and a text box appears below the beta coefficient, allowing me to enter 0 or beta naught. We now want to exit that text box by clicking beside the beta coefficient again. The next element of our equation we wish to add is beta 1 times x. So this is our slope coefficient. We press plus on our keyboard. We again go to our Greek characters and select beta. Again, we wish to input the subscript. So we select our subscripts here and input subscript number 1 for beta 1. Again, we exit the subscript bar, and we will type x for our x variable. The final element we wish to add is plus our error term. So again, we can go to our Greek characteristics and select various different Greek characters for our error term. And this essentially gives us the formula y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1x plus our error term. The nice thing about using Microsoft Equation Editor is that it gives you a lot of options, and also it's possible to easily move the equation throughout Word. Various other functions can be performed. So if we exit, we can create a new equation by again selecting the Object tab and Microsoft Equation 3.0. Other options which we can use essentially relate to greater di or dividers, summation signs, and brackets. We can also create matrices by selecting various dimensions. Microsoft Equation Editor offers you an excellent opportunity to professionally to present your, your equations. That concludes this tutorial. Further tutorials are available on my YouTube site.